Hello, San Wenani. My name is Noah Zamateta, and today we'll be speaking about something that affects women. So, a quick disclaimer if you don't like talking about periods or are a sensitive listener, then please feel free to catch us on our next video. Also, I just want to say that the reason I'm doing this video is to sort of bring an awareness, especially to women, because we hardly talk about these things and we go on thinking that pain is normal. Because we don't talk about these things, so we think other people are experiencing the same thing, whereas in pain is not normal at all. So fibroids are non-cancerous growth within the woman's uterus, and they affect women that are in their childbearing years. Um, they said they are caused by obesity, or if there's a family history of fibroids, then you are more likely to have them. Um, the symptoms are heavy bleeding during your periods, pelvic pain um and just heavy period pains um and then the treatment obviously is just surgery so my journey with period pains they've always been long heavy and the pain has always been bad but i thought this was natural and i thought this is what every woman goes through so i just went on with life um until 2017 where things just started getting worse and worse each month I was still able to go to work and do other daily activities, but it was hard. And if I did get um, my periods when I was at home, then I would just lie in bed all the time because it just felt like there was someone with the knife who just kept stabbing and stabbing me. So it was bad. In 2018, that's when I started to seek medical attention. Um, I went to doctor number one, who is a GP. And I did ask him to check for fibroids, so he did an ultrasound and he said there were no fibroids. He then put me on contraceptives, yes plus, and he said that these will um, regulate my period, um, reduce um, the bleeding as well as reduce the pain. So I tried those for six months and it didn't work. So since it didn't work after six months, I went to doctor number two, who is a gynecologist. And he just said, ma'am, I don't know what is wrong with you. I don't know where the pain is coming from. Um, could be that you're just one of those women that have bad period pains and that's natural. But he did do um, a scan, the one that goes through the vagina. And he found two fibroids, which were two centimeters wide. Now, these fibroids were too small to operate. So he said, I will have to give it some time and see if they grow and multiply. Then we can remove them through surgery. If not, then um, we'll just have to live with it. Because he said, sometimes they do shrink. So it's just a waiting game. So then... Um, I went out of the consultation with no medication, with no way forward. I didn't know what to do. So the couple of months that followed, I just moved from pharmacy to pharmacy, um, looking for advice on which painkillers or any medication that I could take to make me feel better. And the medication that they gave me didn't work, but there was the Nurofen period pain tab tablet, sorry, those um did help me but they only worked for two to three hours so it means every three hours i'll have to take a tablet in order to just be okay and continue with life then i went to doctor number three who is a gp and he sent me for some tests um as well as some scans so the scans came back and they confirmed again that i have two fibroids still the same size um, and then everything else that they checked for, I was okay, I was good and healthy. Um, then the doctor referred me to doctor number four, who is a gynecologist, for her to give me advice and tell me the way forward. So I went to see doctor number four and that consultation wasn't even worth the money. But anyway, it was less than five minutes, I'll tell you that. Um, so doctor number four, I tell her everything and then I show her the scans. She looks at the scans and she's like, oh, you have endometriosis. Endometriosis. Sorry. Yeah, she said I have that. And it can only be diagnosed um, through surgery. And there's no medication for it as far as I know. So you have to do surgery and they cut it out and you continue with your life. 
And then she did do a scan and she said she doesn't see any fibroids. So in that consultation, she put me on um, other contraceptives, the Clara, and she said that I must try those for three months and then come back. Think, okay, think about um, having the surgery and then come back and tell her. I went out of that consultation and I wasn't happy. But I did try out the contraceptives that she um, had prescribed and it got worse. It got worse. So the symptoms I was experiencing at this time, so the pain was consistent even after the period. The bleeding um, was now longer. I had to change more compared to before. And then I also had some big blood clots during um, my period. And then obviously I had to miss work because of the pain being constantly there. And then I would, I couldn't sit down. So it would be better if I lie in bed. So that was just my life lying in bed whenever I can. Um, and then also because the pain was constantly there, I had to stop going to the gym. So then um, after experiencing this much pain and not finding a way forward again, I decided to go to doctor number five, who is a GP. And um, she did like a thorough checkup. She sent me for scans. She sent me for some blood tests and she just did a thorough checkup herself. Um, again, those tests came back and they said everything is perfect is healthy there's nothing wrong except um the scan that confirmed that there were fibroids but then she said that the fibroids had multiplied and they had grown and um she was very worried um at the rate that they were growing that there will be more because now once they start um being big and they start growing to other areas then um, it affects your fertility and then they have to remove your uterus and then you can't have children so she said that um, she suggested that I do surgery to remove them and I was okay with that. I was like anything to help me. So we prepared for that and um, I didn't go through surgery with her because firstly the fees were high. Um, she's not under my plan with my medical aid and she charges above medical aid rates. So the fees were very high. And also when I called like the last consultation um, that we were going to have to sort out um, the administration things before the surgery, they told me that I needed to pay deposit of 10000 which I didn't have. And the thing is, they told me on the spot. So I was just I was skeptical of going through the operation because, you know, they leave out information here and there and then they tell you last minute. So and then also when we were still negotiating this thing of deposit and how much the medical aid would pay and how much I would need to pay, you know, the stories kept changing. So I wasn't um, I was just skeptical. So then I decided to. Um, Go to doctor number six, who is under my plan, and I know that I will get full cover um, as well as um, hospital cover. So doctor number six said that he didn't see the fibers because my bladder was empty when I went to see him. Um, but then he did. Um, so he gave me some medication for the pain and then he referred me to doctor number seven, who's a gynecologist. The last period that I had, it was so severe that I couldn't walk, um, I would have trouble walking. And I was in bed the whole time. I remember I, I woke up in the middle of the night trying to go to the toilet and there, were just, there was just these sharp pains um, in my lower abdominal. Then doctor number seven did a scan and again it showed the fibroids um, and then everything else was fine. As well as the blood test, they said everything else was fine. Then doctor number seven, um, he suggested that we do a laparoscopy procedure, which is basically doing an incision in your belly button, just like a small one. And then they insert a camera so that they can have a look at what's happening in your organs.
fitting. So it's gonna get better. Can't breathe.